This week I will be testing four pairs of the best rated heated socks that I could find on Amazon. My experience with electric socks is primarily from sitting in a deer stand in 20 degree weather in the snow. And I can tell you for sure there is an incredible difference between when you've got these and when you don't. Uh, number one is the snow deer that came in at a price tag of $71. The number two, the Vice Plus, came in at $59. Mr. Warm at $39 and the Auto Castle at just $38. The Charger is a 2013 style wall wart. There's no USB, USB-C, nothing. It's just direct to the wall plug-in. The battery packs feel pretty solid. They're a lithium polymer with a 2200 milliamp capacity. The Vice Plus are $59 pair. With this pair, I see right away that we have a USB charging cable and a USB to USB-C adapter for it. It is a one USB into a two USB-C split. These are also very soft. They feel about the same thickness all the way through, but they do feel slightly thicker than the first pair. These packs are also lithium polymer and they claim to have a 5,000 milliamp capacity. We got a charge indicator on the end of these. It did not come with a charging brick. Next is our Mr. Warm. These also feel pretty soft, not quite as soft as the last two pair, but good enough. Our charging system is another win. This one is also USB to a split pair of USB-C. It did not come with the USB to USB-C adapter. It also did not come with a charging brick. It's like our battery packs have both a charge light and a temperature light on them. They are a lithium polymer battery, also claiming 5,000 milliamp capacity, but they're significantly smaller compared to the Vice Plus pack. Finally, the Auto Castle, also very soft. The battery packs in these are a bit different. Looks like they do have a charge indicator. They're a long, a long wide pack. I think that these are going to have a cylindrical cell, probably a 14500 size lithium ion in there. They have a 2200 milliamp capacity also. And we got another 2013 wall wart charging system. The most significant differences in them that I see are, I notice these are crazy longer than the other ones, and uh, these also have a little bit of extra padding in the toe, I noticed. The Vice Plus, to me, seem the softest, like when you touch them, they're like, ooh. They're all basically like the weight of about a lightweight pair of wool socks. They're much thicker than my ankle socks, but not as thick as my heavy poofy wool socks. Regular sock, regular wool sock, poofy wool sock. Pretty much any of these pair of socks. Here's our relative pack sizes and weights. Two other things I want to point out here. Uh, the reason that this pack and th these packs both say they're uh, 5,000 milliamp capacity, this one is significantly bigger because the Vice Plus is our only one that has the is Bluetooth capable, and we'll go over that later. Uh, the other thing is even though the pack like this pack has says. Uh, 2200 milliamp capacity like and these say 5000 even though these you know the packs are not that much different in size I think that could be because this one is a 7.4 volt system and I suspect that these are like a 3.7 the wattage on them is very similar 16 watts 18 watts for the thermal test I turned the left sock of each pair inside out. All of the socks warmed up really quickly. They were all looking hot in under a minute.
and this turned out to be a long runtime test. For the next several hours, everything looked just exactly like you see here, basically the same. Finally, after three hours and 45 minutes, uh, the auto castle started cooling off. I, I timed all of these based on when the first sock in the pair died. By the four hour mark, both of them had died. That's also about the time Daddy's little helper came by to give her input. Four and a half hours in, the snow deer gave up the ghost, followed immediately by Mr. Warm, and Vice Plus kicked off about ten minutes later. Even though we got similar run times for all of these, it doesn't necessarily mean that their heating ability is equal. So what I think is probably the best way to test that is to measure in watts. And unlike LEDs, where there's an efficiency factor, electric heaters are basically considered to be 100% efficient. All of the energy that they consume, they put back out in heat. Whichever one is putting, giving us the most watts in is likely delivering the most heat to your foot. I made this jumper here so that I could uh, test the pack under load. For this test I turned on all the socks and let them warm up, come up to temperature for three minutes. And then I did a double, you know, did it on both socks. These are my results. Snow deer came in at the highest total wattage into the sock. Mr. Warm second, uh, followed by Vice Plus, then Auto Castle. The app for the Vice Plus is Google Play verified, or I never would have downloaded it. It seems pretty responsive, and it paired up immediately. You can control about anything, and it like it'll tell you if the packs are connected, or if one like see, one of them's on, one 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 is on, one is off. Now both are on, and the app is really intuitive. You, you can go, I can just turn the whole thing on and off and watch how quick it responds. That's it. I mean, it's, it's instant. We'll go back on, and it, you can jump to different settings, and, and they respond. You can see the lights, low, medium. high back to low or you can even just run this little slider like that and you can do just one sock or just both so if you wanted to change if you wanted one hot foot and one warm foot you could do that it has a timer at the bottom that you could ha shut it set it to turn off i actually like this a lot better than i was expecting to so does one of them feel warmer than the others? Uh, well, the snow deer has all of its heaters concentrated in the toe part. It has wire on the top and the bottom of the toe, and it also has extra padding in the toe. For the most part, I like that. I did notice that this little seam right here when I'm walking, I can kind of feel that. It's not terrible, but not helpful. Mr. Warm has its sensors all on the bottom, which I like just fine. Uh, it does have them spread out. There's a concentration in the toe, and then it spreads out down to the heel. Uh, I don't necessarily like that. I think I'd prefer if it was all in the toe at the bottom. Vice Plus also has uh, wires that go wrap all the way around your toe. They go on both sides. You can see them clearly in the wavy lines on the sock. Auto Castle, when I was putting it on, I like I kept thinking that I had it twisted and would try to straighten it out, and then I realized no, it, it this that all of the heaters are just on the top on it, which I think is ridiculous. Uh, you can see the heel of the sock is right here, and the the heaters are on the top side of the toe. It still keeps your foot warm, but I would say that's probably my least favorite of them. So which ones do I think are the best? Um, I can tell you for sure my least favorite pair is the Auto Castle, even though they were our cheapest ones. All of the heaters are on the top of the toe, the battery is lower capacity, and it comes with the 2013 charger, plus I had trouble with the pack falling out. I, I wouldn't recommend those. 
which is the best out of the other three pairs is kind of hard to say. It just depends on what you want. If if the thing that matters to you the most is just having the absolute warmest toes, I'm going to say the Snow Deer. But just remember you're sacrificing the USB-C charging and you have to go with the wall wart. I think that the Vice Plus definitely keep my toes sufficiently warm and I like the Bluetooth. If you don't care about Bluetooth, save yourself 20 bucks and go with Mr. Warm because even though all the sensors were not or all the heaters were not at the toe they still kept my toes very warm they were super comfortable and you get the USB-C charging thanks for watching everybody and good lucks